Previously on Bearded Manor. Inspector Chauncey. Charles Talmadge, you're under arrest for the, the murder of your son, Harold Talmadge. Mother, take him away. What? Come here, you bastard. <laughs> Now that Charles is in jail, you have a choice, Helen. Save the estate or save your husband. Which would it be? I choose the estate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Morris. She won't take me anymore. What are you going to do now? I think I'm going to quit. What? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Charles, as your barrister, I have one question for you about the murder of your son. Well, what is it? If not you, then who? What do you mean? You know what I mean. Who else could have murdered your son? <laughs> My daughter, Evelyn. <laughs> <laughs> this week on Bearded Manor, the Dowager Countess is receiving a gift. What is it? <laughs> a carrot. <laughs> Mrs. Towsley? Mr. Morris? I'm not, I, don't, I don't know what to do. I think Danny's going to be leaving. I think he's going to be leaving because he's heartbroken because Lady Miriam broke his heart. Well, don't let him leave. I'm trying all I can. I'm singing songs. I'm doing the poetry. I do don't know what to do anymore. Well, make him something. Make him a card. Have you ever tried that? Mm, I could try that. <laughs> Grandmama! Shut your mouth! <laughs> received a package. <laughs> Who is it from? It just says, to whom it may concern. <laughs> I would take it. I'm concerned. <laughs> Give it here. <laughs> Will you be needing anything else? Any tea? Yes. <laughs> No. <laughs> Very good. Well, what is it, Grandmama? I'm opening the package, my dear. <laughs> what on earth did you do that for? Carrot cake. <laughs> I'm allergic. <laughs> <laughs> but who would, who would send you carrot cake? Maybe the countless would... people in the county, my dear. Uh, well, maybe it was an honest mistake. Do you realize what you've done? <laughs> I've done nothing. You foiled all of our efforts. By doing what? The estate hangs in the balance now. Because of you running into the room, yelling full blast through your pointed teeth. <laughs> Sorry, but what was I supposed to do? I, I didn't mean to, it's just... What did we tell you? To keep my mouth shut. And what did you do? Opened my mouth. <laughs> but, but father has... Father has said I killed Harold. And I have not, Grandmama. Perhaps you did. <laughs> <laughs> Not even. What? <laughs> what are we to do? <laughs> but I didn't kill him. What? <laughs> Grandmama. I'm saying you might as well have my dear. Maybe you did. Maybe it was you. You think you could pull that off? <laughs> I guess we're going to have to find out, Grandmama. 
Evelyn, this is your fault. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Mr. Isai. It was just a pin in a card. Who <laughs> is the card to? Danny. So I hope you don't leave card. <laughs> what? I hope, I hope you don't leave card. This is where's he going? Well, I think he's leaving. <laughs> That's he, what he said to me. Danny can't leave. He's an employee. Well, he can quit. Job if you want well, that would be terrible. I, We'd have to find a replacement. I agree, it'd be more work for all of us. But he has his own, you know, he has his own life. Does he? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. East, you might be old and I think senile, but you know, <laughs> we all have lives outside of this job. I don't. <laughs> Sorry, I misspoke then. <laughs> you know, you know, maybe I shouldn't write him a card then. Maybe I should just let him go. What about what I said made you think that? <laughs> we were both talking about how we shouldn't let him go, and then now you've. <laughs> Perhaps I am getting a see now. Like a see, <laughs> Just. I just feel like I'm anchoring him to the ground here. I just, I don't want, I don't want to hold him back. If he wants to go, he should go, right? Man, like the boy's heartbroken. Yes, but he still has a job to do. Yes, but it's, it's not his life, though. But maybe you can find solace in the work. <laughs> Have you ever been heartbroken, Mr. Reese? Many times. And what did you do? I worked harder. <laughs> <laughs> and you feel better for it? It's hard to say anymore. I don't have a life out of sight of my job. <laughs> right, well, I'll take that as a no. Well, are we quite ready for tea service? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. Mr. Morris, where is Danny? Danny, I think he's in his room. Well, that's not where he's supposed to be right now. I realize that. I'm doing his job. Margaret! Do you have a life outside of work? Of course I do. Everyone has a life outside of work. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> I feel like doors are opening and the light is so bright, it's blinding me. <laughs> Sounds like you should see the doctor. <laughs> Margaret, do you consider us friends? Of course I do. We've worked together for at least 20 years now. And you would say we have a good rapport with one another? Of course. And if, say, I were to die, you would be sad? <laughs> oh, that's, that's a bit morbid, but yes, I would be sad, yes. Thank you, Margaret. Thank you very much. <laughs> Are you <s> <laughs> Did she make it safely? Yes. It will be good for her. Time away. I'm sure anything will be good after what happened at the ball. I agree. What are we going to do about it? Have you made contact with Philip? Yes. But it's hard to tell what he's thinking from his responses. They're very cordial. What did they say exactly? They said, nice to meet you. <laughs> That's it. Script. Sincerely, Philip. Well, <laughs> <laughs> comes for something. We must invite him back, I think. Yes. As soon as we can. Perhaps we can sit him down to dinner and have a conversation with him. But first we need to keep we need to get our house in order. I agree. 
Evelyn. Yes. And Charles, for that matter. What do you mean? It needs to be resolved, one way or another. Agreed. <laughs> it's just a question of who means more. power in their ignorance. <laughs> what if it was both? What do you mean? I'm not sure. <laughs> Are you saying we framed them both? Well, we're only really framing one of them because Charles actually did it. <laughs> but Evelyn, it's a question. She could burn this house to the ground. Lord knows she's been on the edge of it many times, hmm. both literally and figuratively. <laughs> Charles can be put back in control. No, I think we both agree on that. What do you want? I want to have agency over my own life. have you brought me, and I'm not talking about an exercise pamphlet. If Evelyn is found out. What do you mean? How did she find out? That she's a spastic. Yeah, well, uh, I might have told her. <laughs> <laughs> Slip of the tongue, as it were. <laughs> You're a fool. I am a fool. Yes, you are a fool. <laughs> yes, perhaps the fool is calling the fool a fool. <laughs> <laughs> Come over here so I can murder you! <laughs> I don't what? think I'll be doing that today. Look! <laughs> Who's paying you? Me. Your wife. Well, yes, technically. <laughs> it's all our money. We share it. Technically, it's her money, currently. You've been frozen out. So you came here just to mock me? With exercise pamphlets. No, I've come to give you an update. It's well, increasingly I'll... complex with your daughter finding out. I imagine. But I will get to the bottom of it. How do you intend to do that? <laughs> I'll frame her, of course. Yes. 
yes, of course. I want to make one thing clear. Mm -hmm. Shall I write it down? <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I don't care to hurt my daughter. But this is the only way. For what? <laughs> For me to get out of here. She will be released in time, yes? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. And hard to say, really. Whatever the sentence will be, will be. <laughs> well, she's young. We can get a reduced sentence, yes? What are you talking about? <laughs> because she's young? <laughs> yes. That's exactly what I just said. What do you have to say? Well, you told me that everything you do is to defend your family. Of course. <laughs> yeah, you, you finished it in your head. <laughs> well, sacrifices have to be made. What about sacrificing yourself? <laughs> Charles, there isn't much time. The hearing is at the end of the week. Are you backpedaling? Or are you standing your ground? I am paid by the hour. <laughs> <laughs> it's my wife's money. <laughs> What's that? A touche. <laughs> I hate to admit you're right, Father. Let's not put our blood through this. Shall be me and me alone. Very well. Then, Charles, I shall defend you as best I can. Come with a plan next time, not an exercise pamphlet. <laughs> <laughs> Still, no one to talk to, Mr. Reese. You notice anything different about me? You're wearing a nice sweater. <laughs> and you're drunk? <laughs> oh, why do people keep saying that? <laughs> sure, I haven't touched a drop of it in 20 years. I apologize. You, you seem happy. You seem what? Happy. I seem drunk. What? <laughs> Some people, when they're drunk, seem happy, and you seem happy right now. But aren't some people just happy? <laughs> <laughs> of course, but that's not generally your... way. <laughs> I'm trying to find a new way. Well, that is admirable. Thank you. <laughs> Was there something specific you were hoping I would notice about you? Done my hair a different way. <laughs> yes, you have. I parted it to this side instead of this side. Quite a rebel you are. <laughs> hair change and a sweater. They're not going to recognize you out there. <laughs> you think that? Is that true? I could be one of the young boys just got hired. Yes, <laughs> of course. Anyway, <laughs> what are we going to do about that? I'm not sure. He's still up in his room. He hasn't come out of there in two days. Has he eaten anything? 
but I keep sending Mr. Morris up with, with things, and I, the plates come down empty. <laughs> Unless Mr. Morris is just taking a second serving. Does he look? Does he look like he's very full? <laughs> I'm not sure. I. Next time he comes down, poke him a little. <laughs> Hiding in the corner. I'm sorry. I've just... Grandmama, I... <laughs> Mother? We need to talk, Evelyn. About what? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? So this is how it's going to happen. You're going... You're going... You're both against me. My own family. Why do you say that, my dear? Because you're both staring down on me right now. You're sitting, dear. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> well, then what have you come to talk to me about if it isn't... if it isn't framing me? We want to work with you, Evelyn. What? <laughs> it was never our idea to frame you. It was Charles. We think you could be helpful in that regard. What do you mean? It is true, my dear. Your father murdered your brother. Why? Why would he do that? The estate, my dear. What do you mean, the estate? It's his son! It's my brother! They had become competitive with one another. I'm competitive with Miriam, and it doesn't mean I'm going to kill her! <laughs> for flowers and daffodils, my dear. That's what they were competitive about? <laughs> you and your sister. Your husband, uh, your, my, what? Your husband. <laughs> you quite all right, Grandmama. It's the light. <laughs> Never gotten used to him. I'll have Nathaniel turn them down. We must understand that we must be in this together. For to run this house successfully, we women must stick together. I wanted to help you, but you... Neither of you have ever seemed like you cared much. It's always been, it's always been Miriam's help that you want, or Harold's, or Matthew, not mine. Do you think that the way you're acting right now might be a part of that? <laughs> <laughs> you must Speaking be honest my, with yourself. I am being honest with you. You don't like my honesty. I don't like your demeanor, darling. <laughs> well, guess what, mother? This is a new century in a new age, and this is how people act now. Are you with us or not, my dear? Yes, Grandma. Danny, it's so dark in here. 
Where's the so cold? Uh, good evening, Mr. Morris. Uh, uh, Nathaniel. Yes, I've been asked to give you this letter should you enter this room. <laughs> <laughs> Victor. time for myself to sort things out in my head and my heart. <laughs> Don't try finding me. Don't try finding me. I'll say it a third time. <laughs> Don't try finding me. <laughs> I love you. Your brother. Don't try finding me. <laughs> yes, you woke me up now. What is it? in prison this long. What do you mean? I feel like a rat in a cage. Yes, you get used to that part and then you just live. <laughs> you don't live well. No, I think that's kind of the point. <laughs> <laughs> you know they're trying to punish you, right? That's the point of it. Do you ever feel better about yourself? Better than what? <laughs> I've made quite large mistakes. Yes. On that we agree. <laughs> Do you ever come, come back into yourself after murdering? Are you asking me if you ever become a normal human being again? Yes. Do you ever forgive yourself? Have you forgiven yourself? Yeah, of course, I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> but you killed many people. Far more than me. Yes, but I did it for the right reasons. <laughs> <laughs> they were trying to take the estate from me, boy. Yes, that was my reasons as well, and you'd made me seem like I was doing it for nothing. <laughs> you killed your son! I... Damn it. Every time. <laughs> well, it's... What do you mean, every time? <laughs> it's always true! <laughs> it's, it's what you did! Perhaps it's that you haven't faced it yet. Perhaps that's your problem. <coughs> How do I face something like this? What were you thinking when you looked at your son, pulled a gun out of wherever you were keeping it, pointed it at him, and pulled the trigger? Myself. I was just trying to scare him. I didn't mean. I'm sorry. I never felt. 
felt so foolish in my life. make everything easier for my family. By doing what? By admitting what I've done. By taking the blame. <coughs> Not letting any of them live through this any longer than they need to. Letting them move on with their lives. be the noble choice, yes. And it would mean that we get to spend a lot more time together. <laughs> Father-son time. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot tell if you are happy about that. <laughs> I'm very happy. I may think you've made many mistakes, but you're a poor excuse for a human being. <laughs> and you're still my son. And I love you. Mm -hmm. I love you too. Well, we've got that going for us anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, came with another package. It's not a carrot cake, is it? I haven't opened it. <laughs> I haven't opened it. Have you actually opened it? Because you've repeated yourself twice. I have opened it. I have. <laughs> What's inside? It's a carrot cake. I had some. <laughs> I thought you wouldn't mind because you smashed the other one. Did you eat the carrot cake? I have, yes. <laughs> Just a slice, maybe two. Perhaps you should bring it back outside. <coughs> yes, of course. Was there some other reason you came in here tonight? <laughs> Do what it was to deliver the carrot cake. Yes, but you <laughs> eaten part of it, and you knew she didn't want it. Well, it's her. Hers to decide <laughs> what she'd like to do. Oh, is that right? Yes. So you took a bite out of it first. <laughs> well, I, I'm sorry. I'm only trying to ask, Nathaniel, is this some sort of cry for help? <laughs> I don't get fed very much. <laughs> and I feel like I'm... Are we not paying you enough? No, hard enough. Your ladyship, I... Are you asking for a raid? Please. <laughs> Fine. Uh, Get out. Okay. <laughs> Would you like the note attached to the carrot cake? It's in royal lettering. A, a penny more an hour. A penny? That'll be all. <laughs> I liked carrot cake. It's not really good or bad. <laughs> Confusing. <coughs> we can take it as a peace offering. <laughs> that he's still interested. He's coming tonight. Discuss it with him then. Do we need to put more pressure on him? I think he will be putting the pressure on us. I wish it wasn't that way. We should have to be on guard. Are you prepared for that?
<laughs> well, what are you doing in here? I was looking for Charles. <laughs> Am I in the wrong cell? Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, pardon my tardiness. <laughs> I'm ready to go through the uh, hearing with you, if you are prepared. Yes, quite prepared. Very well. <clears throat> I'm going to ask you a series of questions, and you must answer as truthfully as possible. <clears throat> Now, the first question shall be, how do you plead? And you will say, guilty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my dear Lord. Uh, you have a lot of work to do, my friend. Uh, the answer shall be, not guilty. Leonard, I need you to be honest with me. Quiet. If I plead not guilty, do you actually believe there is any chance that I will not be found guilty? <laughs> Do not try to butter me up. Just tell me the truth. Very, very slim chance, sir. The evidence is stacking. Your gun was buried with the body. I can't get much more clear than that. <laughs> and I shall plead guilty. Spare my family some level of embarrassment. But do you realize what this means? What? <laughs> well, you shall be in jail for the rest of your life. My career, let's not begin to talk about that. <laughs> yes, we won't. <laughs> and yes, I understand. Unless you can see some other avenue. Because I will, and it, I will not say that my daughter has done this. No, what? No, he said no. Yes. Good Lord, good Lord, we're not going to do this right now, all right? <laughs> do you see any other option? Ah. Mm. Uh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, Leonard, you have a week. A what? A week, yes. A week what? what? <laughs> you have a week. The hearing is in a week, yes? Ah, uh, uh, well, yes. <laughs> then, five days to be exact. Business days. Well, <laughs> then you have five days to find another option or accept that I am going to plead guilty. Very well. Then I have one response to that. Your wife shall have to pay me more. <laughs> that? Yes. But I, I'm not good at entertaining. I thought I was, but I'm not. And now he's going to come back, and then I've got to entertain <clears throat> him. You just have to talk to <clears> him. <throat> But everyone tells me to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> when I say keep your mouth shut, what I really mean is change the way your mouth is moving. <laughs> Let me explain. Yes, please. <laughs> when you speak, 
It seems to come from the very base of you as a human being. Right from your gut or whatever it is that holds you steady on this earth. And instead of coming from your gut, let the words come from your mind. <laughs> Think about what you say before you say it. And if when you think about it, it sounds like it's going to be shrill or piercing, <laughs> then don't say it at all. All right. The Earl of Essex has arrived. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Are you ready? Yes. Quite ready. Nice to see you. Very nice to see you all. <laughs> Helen, lovely, lovely. Well, I'll cut right to the chase. I'm sorry if my care and cakes seemed odd, but I had uh, a plethora of cakes to give, and I'd wanted to share my scrumptious baking goods. See, I'm a baker. <laughs> I'm, uh, well, it, it was delicious, indeed. Oh, yes, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, I know Miriam is away in Finland for uh, the month. <laughs> However, I came to ask for your permission. Your, to do what? Your permission for a hand in marriage. <gasps> <laughs> is it too forward of me? I quite the connection with her. Uh, not at all. I'm you would sure. be delighted. As would she, I'm sure. Quite delighted. <laughs> <laughs> Evelyn, perhaps you could go and get some tea. No, I think I'll wait here. <laughs> Grab my mom. Anyway. <laughs> yes. The answer is yes. Then please, if I could ask you a favor, do not tip your hand to my plans of marriage. I would like it to be, uh, see, I'm, I, where I'm a baker, I am quite the romantic as well, if I uh, could say so myself. And you just have. <laughs> yes, I have. Thank you. Uh, so, but I must run to, in, uh, to London. I have a b business meeting in London. I just popped over. Asked. May I ask you one question? Yes, of course. What is it about her that you found so <laughs> endearing? I enjoy, well, I enjoyed her eyes. <laughs> I enjoyed the presence of being in, in the company of someone who has such grace and power at the same time. And with someone with my past, it's, it's nice to have someone who has a, a bit of innocence in them. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> One whose record is not besmirched with scandal. <laughs> Perhaps you could enlighten us. Uh, well, I know that you uh, have a each of you have a hand in some sort of scandal or murder. <laughs> <laughs> However, Miriam has none. And that's what I'm after. Innocence. Yes, you've spoken of our innocence, but what about your innocence? You seem to be implying rather heavily that there is something at least equivalent to a murder in your past. My innocence, and the judgment of my innocence, lies with God above. Good day, ladies. Good afternoon, beautiful man.
truly 